Moving forward with our project movie rental system, we are now going to do SQL and relational queries. The first query is to display the name, ID and the store ID of all employees who have not been assigned a supervisor. Here select name, employee ID, store ID from employee, the relation employee, where supervisor is null. So if the supervisor is null, that means the employee does not have any supervisor assigned. The resulting output will have all the employees having no supervisor. The second query is to show the final rate of all tapes rented between 2015 to 2020 after deducting the 2% tax imposed on its rate. Here we have selected tape ID. Here we have performed few operation on rate attribute that is rate minus 2% of rate as final rate. So the attribute will be named as final rate in the output table from rent R relation which where year date and time it year extracts the year part of the date and time attribute between 2015 and 2020 between is used to specify the range of the output the third query is to find the details of the stores those have the distributor named Sam so here we have uh, join two tables select as dot store id as dot name from distributor d store as where d dot distributor id equals to s dot distributor id since the distributor id is the same attribute in both the tables we have used the allies d and s to avoid the ambiguity and d dot name equals to same so the resulting output will be our required output so the fourth query is list all the customers with the total amount they have spent on the tapes in ascending order by name we have selected customer ID name, aggregate function, sum on attribute rate. From customer C, rent R, we have joined table on customer ID. Then we have grouped the data by customer ID and ordered it by the customer name. ASC represent ascending order. If we write DESC here, it will show the descending order. Fifth query is to list all the tapes whose title starts with S and the payment is done by check at least once. We have used the concept of nested query here, that is the query within a query. So select payment ID from payment where payment type equals to check. From the relation payment, it will show all the payment ID where payment type is checked. Now from name query, select tape ID, title from tape T, join rent R on tape ID. Where title like S percent, percent is a wildcard character. So whatever the title will be starting from S, it will come out in the output and the payment ID in. So if payment ID is in this table that will be have, we have extracted from the nested query, it will uh, show us the required output. We will now do relational queries. Well, first query is to display the name, ID, store ID of all employees who have supervisor John. So what we need to select is name, employer ID, store ID. What is the condition? Supervisor must be John from the table employer. The second query is to show the final rate of all tapes rented after detecting the 2% tax imposed on its rate. So we are selecting tape ID, then we have performed operation or rent and then the relation rent is chosen third query is to find the details of the stores those have the distributor name sam so in t1 we have uh, stored the data for the same distributor and then from the t1 we have joined it to the store on distributor id and we have extracted name and store id question 4 that is query 4 is the count the total number of tapes for the store pj dali 110 that is the store id so from store, we have extracted store ID where PJ tally 110. Then we have used aggregate function count to ta uh, count tape IDs to count the total number of tapes. And we have extracted tape ID and name. Query 5 is list all the tapes whose payment is done by check at least one. So we have from the relation payment, we have extracted the payment type because to check. So all the tuples having a payment type because to check will come out in the T1. Then we have joined it with the rent table on payment ID. And from that on we have joined that table with the tape on tape ID. And from the T1 that is the join of tape ID and payment it will we will extract the tape ID in title. Moving forward we will do normalization now. Normalization of data can be considered as a process of analyzing the given relational schemas based on their functional dependencies and primary keys to achieve the desirable properties of minimizing redundancy and minimizing the insertion, deletion and update anomalies. So we will go through a few rules and we will check if our table is in normal form or not. First normal form states that the domain of an attribute must include only atomic values that it, it cannot have any multi-valued attribute. 
in all the relation in our schema there is no single uh, attribute which have multi value so our schema is already in first normal form the second normal form says uh, it must be in first normal form which we have checked just now secondary says for relation where primary keys contain multiple attributes no non key attribute should be functionally dependent on a part of the primary key so it says ki if there are attributes then it should be dependent on the primary key and not a part of it in our relations we have only one primary key and all the attributes are dependent on that only so our relations are say in second normal form as well in third normal form it says it should be in second normal form which we checked just now also it is states that relation should not have a non key attribute functionally determined by another non key attribute that is our non key attribute should not be dependent on another non key attribute so in our relation it is very clear that our relation are in third normal form because there is no non key attribute dependent on another non key attribute so for a relation to be in third normal form either the lhs of functional dependency are candidates key or the rhs of functional dependency is a prime attribute now the boys code normal form so it should be in third normal form we have checked that already it is the special case of third normal form which this allows the second condition second condition was the rhs of the functional dependency can be a key but it does not allow that so for a relation to be in boys code normal form the lhs the left hand side of functional dependency must be candidate keys now all the normal forms come mind if someone is here in the third normal form that is it is in third normal form it is in second it is in first so first is the outer circle then second then third and the fourth thank you